the Babylus 880s. Beautiful clippers. I mean, these are some of the nicest design clippers I've seen. The most well built clippers. Ergonomically, it's unbelievable. The armature it clicks into place. You can hear it clicking. Um, so, I mean, just all around the design of this clip is really nice. The switches on the bottom, that's kind of, I don't really like that too much. And they're quiet clippers. And right here you can see I'm, I'm actually cutting hair with them. One of the downfalls is they don't cut as close as your comparables. The Andy's Masters and, you know, the Wall Seniors or the Fast Feeds. They just don't cut as close. You can see this is all the way closed. And it almost looks like a half. So what you really can compare it to is uh, the Fast Feeds. Because this is a pivot motor clipper. You know, where the Masters are magnetic. You can't. You can't really compare the two. Now, as far as build quality, you know, these are right up there with the masses. They're all metal bodies, and these cut really smooth. According to Babyliss, they're twice the speed as your regular pivot um, clipper, which would be like the fast feeds, and they have twice the torque as your magnetic clippers, which would be like the Andy's Masters. And this is the finishing product. I used the 880s on this haircut. And, you know, here's the size comparison. It's bigger than the uh, than the masters but they feel really good in the hand they don't feel as big as they look now by no means are, am i saying that these are replacements for the seniors or the andes they're still not they're built very nicely but the fact that you know if you want to get real close zero you got to change change the blade because i mean these are wall blades i mean they're babylon's blades but they're the same you know dimensions and stuff like wall guards fit on them so you could probably switch your surgical blade with them and cut, get them to cut a little bit closer. But, you know, the clicking, sometimes it gets in the way. I like smooth adjustments. Um, the on and off switch, I like to cut my clipper on and off as I'm cutting hair so they don't heat up. And it makes it hard with that being on the bottom. But it's an all-around very well-built clipper. If those things don't bother you, they're a good pickup for you. But for me, I'm not going um, to say they're in my starter lineup just yet. Hope this helps. Share, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Appreciate you guys watching.